you know, that morning around nine o'clock, I went to the power office, and while we were there, my friend and myself, Samuel Twa, I had a camera. Abba Put came around to talk to Bacchus Matthew. But Abba Put wrote later that his mediation attempt between the people who wanted to demonstrate and the Ministry of Justice that wanted to, that declared the demonstration illegal, you know, he, he wrote that he was hoping against hope. He could not see Matthews. The old man was frustrated, you know, and went home. So the crowd gathered, and it was a huge crowd. Because I had a camera, I ran ahead of the crowd to take a picture. So I was the first to approach the defense ministry. So they had their command post around the defense ministry, and there were snipers on the rooftops of the defense ministry on both sides of Benson Street. And as the crowd was chanting coming, Vanny Dempster took a 45 and fired in the crowd. The first person that was hit with a bullet, his blood spilled out of his neck as if he, was a, he were a walking fountain. You know, because you know, the blood is within pressurized vessels within your body. There's 14.7 pounds of pressure that is exerted to let your blood flow. I'm not a scientist. <laughs> but um, the man's blood was shooting in the air. And then, you know, when a crowd like that with a big number sees blood, the crowd turns to shock. So they got broken up into so many different groups, and the looting started there and then. They could have, they could have allowed that crowd to have demonstrated, go on the bypass, go in front of the mansion, before, but they chose not to use wisdom and they use force. When I was in the interim government and the election was coming, the soldiers were grumbling about pay, about them being uh, dissolved and all kinds of things were happening. Then there was the CDC crowd that came to demonstrate because they said their victory was stolen. We, we had a joint security meeting in the cabinet room at the mansion. I was sitting right next to Judy Bryan because Daniel Chie was away as acting defense minister. There was the on uh commander, all the big people, everybody who was anybody, who was anybody in that setup was around as far as security was concerned. And Shema Bryan said we had to stop the crowd from demonstrating because there's law and order in the country. What Shema Bryan didn't know was that when a conflict, when a country comes from a state where it has been declared a failed state, don't bang too much on law and order. While we are trying to build law and order, law and order is not an actual reality. It was not an actual reality at the time. The army people provided perimeter security and the combatants were tired fighting. But this was a political game. The army chief and myself took a position that Shema Bryant, we cannot afford to tear gas a crowd of 500,000 or more people. It would be more difficult to contend with that crowd it will be more difficult when they break up into smaller groups and then the looting. You don't know who got guns among them. Probably they are looking for a small provocation to do what they want to do. And some people who are actual troublemakers could take advantage of them, of the legitimate grievances of some of the people who felt that their votes, their votes were stolen. As a matter of fact, I told Chairman Bryan, that demonstration is a legitimate right of every Liberian and every political party if they feel aggrieved. All we can do as state security is to guide the demonstration so that it doesn't break up. So the army people suggested that we place the LMP in the front of the crowd and place the army troops in the back 
and put some in embedded uh, security officers inside the crowd to watch and make sure that the crowd doesn't get rowdy and take life and property in, in, in expressing their own rights to demonstrate for the grievances that they felt. And I think Shimon Bryant listened to the voice of reason and wisdom and did not go the route of attacking the CDC people. And so the True Party, because they had a split in their own midst between the extreme right wing and the liberal wing headed by the president, and the extreme right wing was controlling the security forces, and they wanted to get back at the power people who were already in jail. So you know the rest of the story. You know what happened to the power people. I don't want to go into that. Uh, I have to probably move on to the next question.